What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome to Mecha Break. So we saw this revealed at the Game Awards, and I don't think anybody really knew what the game was going to be about. We saw mechs flying all over the place and dashing and boosting. And, uh, you know, first impression was that it was going to be kind of like Zone of Enders. I thought, you know, maybe PvE, maybe a campaign. And boy, was I wrong, because this is a hero shooter, believe it or not. Yes, a hero shooter, like Overwatch, Team Fortress 2, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, so we have specific roles here going through. You can see we have like attacker, defender, brawler, sniper, support. Uh, this is what is currently in the alpha test. And the idea is you pick a role, you jump into a battlefield, which has a variety of different objectives. I've played some that are about like escorting a platform that'll move uh, depending on who's on top of it. I've had some that are kind of like Dominion where you have to control zones. Other ones where there's a beacon that'll spawn and you have to grab it and then turn it in in a specific spot. So a decent variety of game modes and decent variety of classes, but definitely not what I expected from a mech game. So right now we are in queue for a battlefield. Hopefully I get to play this guy because I have some contracts for him, uh, which which one of the things I don't like about the game so far is I've noticed when I queue into a match, if people only have this guy unlocked for whatever reason, it's going to force me to pick one of the other ones I have unlocked. And sometimes if people only have one and that one's taken, it puts them into one of the unlocked roles or one of the locked roles, which are insanely expensive in some cases for some reason. Like this guy, regular cost, 63000 That seems absolutely outrageous considering uh, we go to our, our matrix contracts here. And you can see I earn 600 per tier. So I'd have to get up like 100 tiers to be able to buy that. Uh, but talking more about the in-game systems while we're waiting for Q. I'm not sure the level of customization, but we are able to see like our weapons, our sidearm, and then auxiliaries. These are obviously going to change depending on the class we're playing, but presumably because I can click it, I'd assume there are other options that I'll be able to unlock and sub in at some point. So let's see if I get forced to change out of my role here. Yep, it looks like I am. I'm going to be forced to change into a brawler, and this is kind of what I was talking about. So since I have four unlocked, it's going to make me play this guy. Uh, it's not going to let me play something I don't have, which is yeah, a little bit disappointing, but we'll, we'll play this thing, I suppose. Uh, besides the the weapons, you can take this guy, main weapon, sidearm, and then three auxiliary. That seems to be the standard for most. We have mod parts, which are able to customize different aspects of the mech, which we'll talk more about those when we get out of the match, talk more about the menu. But for now, since we're, we're jumping into a match, let's, uh, let's talk about the gameplay. So... The gameplay itself, to be honest, is kind of chaotic. Uh, the speed isn't nearly as fast as I thought it was going to be. In fact, it's actually pretty chill compared to kind of the, the breakneck combat that I've recently gotten used to uh, playing Armored Core. But I think you, you kind of need to slow things down in a, a 6v6 game type. Uh, so as you can see, we have a, a full team over here. Right now we have a brawler attacker support, attacker attacker, and brawler. Unfortunate that I got forced into a specific role that I didn't want. Uh, that's definitely something that I think they need to look into. Because, you know, if, if you, for example, earlier I had a uh, defender, it was one of the first things that knocked, so a lot of people didn't have defenders. So I would queue into a match and it was like, oh, great, you're going to play as the defender because no one else has this role. And I'm like, oh, great, I get to play as the tank again, even though I wanted to play as an attack. Uh, and roles definitely have a big emphasis on power because watching. The, the tank attack, it's, you know, nearly as strong, but this one's not bad. The brawler can be, can be pretty fun. So let's see if I can't, uh, go in here and, and do some, some fun stuff here. That's the tank guy. We're gonna go after this Inferno fellow. Sniper, we're gonna go say hi to it. Shield restored. Oh no, it's just one of his illusions. So this 
guy I have like uh, auto cannons as well as this laser thing that you're seeing me do. And then anytime you do a melee attack, you have a pretty aggressive dash in with it. That you've probably seen me do a couple times. So our health is the green bar that's on the left. Our energy is going to be our blue bar that's on the right. That's going to dictate our ability to move around. We need to find where is our, our healer at? I think I desperately need the healer to topped up. Looks like they're over there. Here, capture this and maybe I can have the healer top me on off. That's a, another thing. I notice when you die in this game, it's like a uh, roughly a 30 second respawn, which is kind of aggressive. Look at this thing, I can chain people in. I can force them to die. I'm not really securing the kills as the brawler though. A lot of assists. It's supposed to be like a Lancer type class, but clearly this guy doesn't know how to play it. So yeah, gameplay isn't nearly as chaotic as I, I initially thought it would be from the trailer, which one of the interesting things is when the game first starts, you actually have a, uh, it's like a PvE tutorial that goes through, like blocking with your weapon and attacking and you know, switching between your abilities, special modes, if the particular mech you're playing has that. Uh, but the actual gameplay, once you get into it, it's it's pretty simplistic. I think the only real like skill thing that I noticed, at least immediately, is with the melee. Just because you know if there's that that dash in with the melee, and that definitely takes a little bit of getting used to, because you can do fun stuff like that, dash in, and oh, that just fell off the map. Oh, it's playing the, the sniper. It's like a really annoying to deal with because they create illusions and you can stealth around the map so you gotta you gotta find where the sniper's at and then blow it up which we got Come on, platform, let's go. Chain boosting seems to be the, the best way for uh, just raw movement. This is turning into a slaughter, 685 to 154. Things aren't looking too good for them. Too many of them there. Oh, not gonna matter. It's one. Get beat, brother man. Pull it up. So hopefully it doesn't freeze up here. For well, I shouldn't say freeze up uh, because we're in an alpha. Every time a match finishes, it pops up like a how happy were you with the match screen, and uh, that at times can knock stuff out. There, we just pull off an MVP. 
Wow, I did. I did not expect to get an MVP with this guy, but I was out there putting in work. Top finisher with six kills. It's actually kind of low. Usually when I'm playing an attacker, it's significantly higher than that. I'm getting like aces, which is like uh, four kills in a row. So after combat, you have what I'm guessing is like a battle pass track. Um, there's this little thing popping up. I'm going to close it. This little survey. Did you like your match? How balanced was your team? That needs to go away. That thing popping up every match gets absolutely obnoxious to deal with. Uh, but now let's try and jump back in once again see if I can play the, the character I wanted. Uh, but so like I was saying, we have our weapons. As far as I can tell, I think there's going to be different things we can swap to because we have stats, but at the start at least there's none. Uh, going over to the mod parts, we're able to click things and then put different stuff in. So here I can increase my shield capacity, but I decrease the shield region. Or with this I have max energy, but my energy fuse threshold is going to be lower. Uh, I can put this stuff in and that is going to change how my mech works very slightly. It's going to you know, boost certain stats and decrease other stats. So I got this one in here. It's going to increase my air acceleration. Don't have any others. Which that's something I think needs to be improved. It should just show like, you know, oh hey, you have you have stuff available. That's without clicking it. Rebalance delay on landing is better. Blocking is worse. No, I'm not taking anything that, that hurts my blocking with this guy. This guy's a shield. So we have a little bit of customization there at the mod parts. Going into paint job, we have a couple presets, and then you can go into the presets and individualize them more. So we're able to kind of go in and it's it's mostly groupings of colors like I can get down to like the head for example and I can do the primary the secondary and then the trimming uh, but we don't quite have a detail to the same level that we did in armor core where we're like putting on love um, you know putting on armors or picking the the exact color it's all it's like prefab type stuff so you know it's something it's not bad but it is something that I think uh, could be better let me go to uh, can I do my lance at all? I don't think... No, my Lance is August of the Rewind. I don't think I can change the energy of it. Yeah, we have some default patterns we could put on, or decals, but... As far as I can tell, I don't think we have full custom decals. Uh, besides that, the pilot is based on the mech you're piloting. So right now we have this little waifu here. Uh, last time we had the little girl with the glasses. Uh, different one is like a waifu, the one is like an old man. Which is kind of interesting, because at the start of the game, you, you pick your pilot, and then, you know, I started the game with this guy, and I was like, oh, cool, I figured this was just the default, but it's actually just, that's what I, that's what I picked at the start. So I do think that's kind of cool, that you get to, to basically, like, buy in to your very first one. Let's see, let's, I just, I hope I get to play my role. I'm seeing some decent diversity out here, so, oh, thank God, it's not going to change me. Uh, some other stuff going over to missions. So these are based per week like you can see um, Once a missions completed, that's it. So you can pick up missions I can drop them to pick up new missions if they're not done I have two of them trying to get right here when uh, two squad battles and then deal 750,000 damage in a single battle which should not be that hard but So we have some quests that we can do and these are going to reward us with, uh, with some of the goodies that we unlock um, I don't think we can do anything else from this particular menu. I'll talk about the, the track and the, the upgrades after this next match, though. But yeah, very, very interesting concept, you know. Never would have thought of a, uh, a mech hero shooter. Gotta love a little booty shot there. Just throwing in a little bit of fan service. Uh, but it's, it's interesting. It's like... The thing is, I don't usually play hero shooters. Like, I played Overwatch for a little bit back in the day when it came out. And... It tended to just make me kind of salty because, you know, you're relying on your teammates not being incompetent, which is usually not the case. But this one so far has been pretty fun. Uh, in terms of performance, for this being an alpha test, I think they're doing an incredible job. I haven't had any, um, you know, I haven't had any, any like, graphic glitches or, or FPF tips or anything like that. And if I can pull up the menu, yeah, I'm, I'm running this. 4K, uh, you know, very limited options so far, but I mean, it's, it's 4K, I'd assume it's 60 FPS from how smooth it's been running. And we got the escort mission, so... Yeah, this is pretty cool, I have a, a big shield that I can use, and a lance. Incoming 
you can see just how aggressive the attacker can be. I'm, I'm up in the air chasing down this sniper. I have plenty of health left. Oh, that's there. Oh, get off me. get off this if I can. No, I don't think I have enough shield. Maybe when my energy hits it, I can play it. Oh, God, he got me with the parry. Yes, you heard that right, parry. There are uh, mech parries here with the shield if you time an attack. I wasn't using the shield at all, but I don't know where my team is at. Actually, it looks like they, they are... Are they pushing it? It's not the replay when they get to teammates. No, we are presumably... No, is this is targets. This is targets, then we're doing good. Uh, respawn time longer than I would like. We're looking at like 25 to 30 seconds, which is kind of a lot of downtime in a uh, game like this. Yeah, it looks like they're stopping ours. So we should have a defender sitting on this, either sitting on ours and moving it forward, or sitting on this, so we're reversing it. So right now I'm just stopping the enemy progress. Just trying to buy some time for our thing to catch up. I don't know if we actually have a uh, support, so. We don't have a support. I think it's only fair that we don't get a support either. Shield parry there. And now he's done. Now he's gonna pop his thing. Oh, he parried in lightweight. He's recalling it. He scrubbed. Gonna parry it again. How many times do I gotta teach you this lesson, old man? Parry you again! Sit down, child! Bruh, sit down. Oh my god. Oh, no, we do have a support. Enemy 
So yeah, when my armor comes off, I this is what happens. Which I don't have a lot of health in this mode, but as you can see, we are just like, ah, oh, I get stun locked, the mouth. Pinned in the corner and he can't fight. I was just out there shredding lives. Yeah, so as you can see, pretty pretty big difference from the brawler in terms of just my kill potential as one of the main attackers. Um, but not all attackers are created equal. There's like a, a very speeder attacker that the game has that's more about like dashing around in the air and trying to do like little bits of damage and like swiping in to do some burst and whatnot. Uh, there is a, a tank class that's like you, you go into a stationary mode and pull out some shields and just kind of block and, and shoot stuff off of you. I'm gonna kill their, their sniper. Right now. through all of our energy while we're defending I'm gonna try and make ours go a little bit faster but I'm dry on energy eh, come on baby the supports trying to trying to stop me get out of here this is the GG right here
too late. We got it. Alright, now you can go ahead. Give me my MVP for what was clearly a double ace. Absolutely unmatched performance there. 13 kills. Bruh. And I mean, was there any question, your boy, of course, coming in with the double MVP? One in the last game and one here. Was there any question? There was not. We know I'm the best when it comes to Max. Cool, I ranked up. Alright, let's get back to the hangar. Hopefully the, uh... Okay, the survey did pop, which means I can close it, thank god. But a couple times the survey hangs up. Uh, but yeah, talking about some, some other stuff though. So, the Matrix contracts, we have what's clearly, I think, going to be a battle pass. I mean, there's a season, and it's in 78 days, 10 hours. But so we have this, but then we also have this tier, where we start unlocking other stuff, which I'm debating if I want to play more to unlock this guy. It looks like it'd be fun, but at the same time, the hours for this uh, test are, are very limited. It's like open during a, a certain amount of time at night, and then our missions, which we already went over. Uh, going over to logistics, this is the, the the Corite. We can get some here, you can get some from a survey. I'm assuming there's going to be microtransactions, because why wouldn't there be? Uh, going over to inventory, we can see different stuff here. So, special paint can, contains a random paint, so I can open up these and get a, a new potential paint that I can work into my, uh, into my, my mech. You know, and I gotta say, coming off of, of Armored Core, where we just had paints, you know, we just get whatever color we want, suddenly saying, hey, here's the paints, but we gotta unlock them, definitely feels like a step back in that sense, you know? Going from just being given it to, hey, unlock these to be able to customize, it seems, it seems like a misstep. Uh, personally, I think customization... I, I think customization of this sort should just be free. I think it's, it's silly that this is an unlock. I'd rather be unlocking... You know, different potential weapons, different potential modifiers, uh, unlocking colors just seems uh, it just seems seems goofy to me. So opening up one of the the crates just to show what kind of stuff we get when we open these up. Let's see, I got a uh, some credits, and then we got a energy fuse cooldown down, but energy reset speed is up. So yeah, basically it looks like it's shaping up to just be a, a full on like games as a service hero shooter. Uh, I am a fan of the combat. I mean, the combat is fun. It's very flashy. Obviously, I like giant robots, but in general, I don't usually play hero shooters. So it's it's you know hard to say how much I would even do of this at launch. I'm sure if the boys were playing, I might jump in and do a little mech action with the gang. Uh, but in general, games like this tend to be a, a giant time sink. And one of the big things that that at least is is very much dissuading me. You know, we look at Matrix contracts. I'm getting. 600 pearl tier, and given we're getting a couple extra every now and again with a box, but like, if I go to my hangar, and I go to the upgrades, and I, I look at, like, this guy, Aquila. Oh, right now he's 19,000, it's an alpha test offer, but typically this guy's 63,000. 63,000 with roughly 600 unlocked per tier, that's, that's, you know... Basically, I would have to get this thing, I would have to get all the way up to, like, here. Right around here. Almost at the end of what would be the battle pass. Just to unlock a character. And, you know, I don't know. That's that's a heavy ask. That's a lot of playing. A lot of playing. Given we're getting some of these, the, the core right stuff. But as far as I can tell, I don't think there's, like, any way to just unlock stuff earlier. Uh, but either way, that's that's Mecha Break. You know, I wanted to, to talk about my, my thoughts of the systems, what it looks like. I'll be interested to see how this shapes up. I think that the biggest thing that they have going against this right now is coming fresh off the heels of Armored Core. On one hand, there's definitely hype for Mecha out there, and I think they could capitalize on, on that. Uh, at the same time, where you have near unlimited parts in AC and unlimited customization, and then suddenly going to a level where it's like, oh, you want to change your paint. What paint do you have unlocked so far? Or, you know, oh, I want to unlock a mech. Okay, well, how many points have you earned up? Uh, I think that's going to be a hard sell for people, especially coming off of Armored Core. So, whether or not this shapes up to be a success remains to be seen, but either way, that's going to wrap things up for here. Thanks for tuning on in. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, and I'll catch you next time.